how's it going, everybody? Frenzy Rumble, www.frenzyrumble.com. Uh, today we're going to be doing something pretty cool. This is a, uh, a chroming tutorial, how to get a nicer chrome effect on your um, customs or whatever you're painting. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests for this, so um, everybody's got their own method. I, I like my methods. I've had no problems with them, and I think it. what I'm about to show you provides some great results. Um, the most important things to doing this is your base coat of black. You'll notice here, um, this is the prime that I had in a couple earlier videos this week. Um, it, all, the, all the body work is painted off, um, and now I've taped off everything exposing only the parts that I want to chrome out and um, in order to get a perfectly smooth surface I've used uh, 1200 uh, grit sandpaper here uh, it's made by Gator Grit it's uh, it's a wet sand and then I've also um, buffed it and um, I used a lacquer based gloss black paint this stuff's great um, you have to spray it on very thin very lightly, uh, lots of coats. You'd be very patient. It takes a bit to dry, um, but the smoother and the better your gloss coat of black is, the better your chrome's gonna come out. So, this is gonna be again. This is a, a non-transforming truck mode of Optimus Prime, um, but you'll notice that the gloss is is pretty much perfect. It's very very it has to be very very shiny. Um, if it's not shiny or if there's any blemishes in it, you're going to get poor results with your um, with your chroming. So what I use for chrome is is this stuff here. Um, it's made by a company called Outclad. Um, I'll post a link to their website. Great stuff. Um, it's a lacquer-based chrome paint. Very toxic. Very dangerous stuff. Um, you're going to spray this through an airbrush at about 15 to 20 psi. Um, it says to 12 to 15 psi pressure, but I like a little heavier. Um, it's important when you're using this stuff to always have a mask, which I've always got right ne right nearby. You breathe this stuff in, uh, you're going to be coughing up metal. So um, you know, get your mask on. I've got my airbrush here, perfectly cleaned out. Everything's ready to go. I'm going to um, shake up my lacquer paint. Really, really good. There are two types of Alclad. This is an Alclad 2 lacquer chrome. This stuff's great. And there's also uh, another one. This is another chrome. Um, this one's for Lexan. Um, but it also works great. Um, little less durable than the one we're going to be using now so I do sh shake that up pretty well and I've got my prime kind of floating on a cap here so that I can kind of spin him around as I'm painting him but basically I'm just going to put a little bit into the airbrush and put my mask on and uh, check my pressure check my nozzle and basically when you, when you apply this you have to use a brushing stroke you can't just sp spray like you would normally with spray paint uh, it has to be a brushing stroke like this like you would with a normal brush um, very light mists um, about five six inches away four five six inches away and you're just gonna hit hit the areas lightly It's important not to get too much on. If you um, spray too much of this stuff in an area, it will just become silk and you'll lose the chrome. So basically what you're doing is you're chroming the black. Let's get the other side now. This stuff literally takes a minute to dry.
a little bit more to go. Make sure you don't leave any areas out. You get all your areas that you want from sprayed all in one shot. So as you'll see, uh, it's pretty damn shiny. So, I mean, this is my hand here. Um, try to give you an example. Some red. You'll see the reflection right in there. Um, there's nothing that beats this chrome. One of the one of the best things about this too is when you you'll you'll spray and you'll get a, a light light dust on there, which is a great thing. I take a really really smooth um, nice brush. And I, I polish off that, that dust that I have. So you'll see. I don't know if you could see it in the pictures or not. Let's do the grill in the front. So you'll see here. And that's pretty chrome. Um, that, that's pretty much it. Um, now, a, another thing is, um, is clear coating over this. A lot of people have problems with it um, being vulnerable to scratches and stuff. Outclad also makes a great clear coat, which is this right here. It's a clear base. Um, it doesn't hinder the, the glossy chrominess of the chrome paint and it protects it really well. Um, I'm going to let this dry overnight and then I'm going to hit it with that chrome. So there you go. There's the uh, chrome, chromed up Optimus Prime.